The American version of history is that uh, the idea for Plasma Wakefield was born in California where people were watching surfers on the waves. And by thinking about the waves and the, and the surfers surfing, they thought maybe particles can surf plasma waves. And that's how the idea was born. My name is Patrick Mugli. I'm a group leader at the Max Planck Institute for Physics in Munich. And I work in new techniques for acceleration using plasmas. And the idea is to make particle accelerators much smaller cheaper also. In a conventional accelerator, the electric field is that of microwaves. In a plasma is the plasma wave that sustains the electric field. So the electric field can be much larger and therefore the accelerator much smaller. The current experimental setup is the biggest or the longest plasma in our field. The plasma is 10 meters long. Plasma is created by the laser pulse that ionizes the vapor and then a proton bunch will generate a wave, and this wave will be used to accelerate particles, and the particles we want to accelerate are electrons. The proton bunch is made out of hydrogen. You add an electron to make H minus, and then you accelerate the H minus, and then you remove the two electrons to get a proton beam. It's the proton bunch that drives the wave, and the electrons that serve the wave. And we're using one of the most energetic beams in the world, particle beams in the world, a proton beam at CERN, to drive this wake field, this wave that is supposed to accelerate the electrons. And the electrons are supposed to surf the wave and come out at high energy. We get to do things that uh, nobody has done before. Uh, this is really new science. We hope that one day accelerators will be based on plasmas, but there's no guarantee for that. I think science is uh, something that doesn't always have a, a return, something that you can get back right away. I think it's like music, I think it's like painting, art. I think it's just another form of moving society forward. And I think we all benefit from science. I think scientists are very open-minded and I think it's very important in our society.